In this video, we'll demonstrate how to rebuild a Borg Warner Kaiser style fan clutch using Kitmaster's Rebuild Kit number 8800 SKL. The process for rebuilding any K22, 26, 30, or 32 rear air fan clutch is the same. Although the process is the same for all these fan clutch designs, the part numbers of the kits may vary. Always refer to the Kitmaster's cross reference to choose the proper kit. To rebuild these fan clutches, follow this process. The first thing we need to do is apply air to the fan clutch by inserting an air line into the air port at the back of the pulley. This will disengage the clutch and allow you to rotate the outer housing. Next, align the holes at the top of the fan clutch so they line up with the bolts that secure the fan clutch to the pulley. Once aligned, you can remove the air pressure. Remove the six Allen bolts that secure the fan clutch to the pulley. Once the bolts are removed, you can remove the fan clutch from the pulley. Now, remove the plastic coupler on the back of the fan clutch and discard. Next, we will need to compress the clutch using two 3 8 inch by 3 inch bolts with washers. Place the bolts in through any two opposite mounting holes at the back of the fan clutch. Using the washers and nuts at the front of the fan clutch, Tighten the nuts enough to slightly compress the fan clutch. It is important not to over compress the fan clutch. Once the fan clutch is slightly compressed, use a 5 8 inch open ended wrench to secure the rear air shaft at the back of the clutch. You just need to hold on to it to keep it from spinning. Next, remove the air chamber cap using a 5 16 socket. You can discard the air chamber cap. Remove the U-packing seal, which will either be black or blue. If it is blue, you also need to remove and discard the O-ring underneath the U-packing seal. Now remove and discard the dust seal. Then remove and discard the seal washer. Next, flip the fan clutch over and remove and discard the O-ring on the rear end shaft. Now, remove the three friction retaining plates. You should save the friction retaining plates as they are not a wear item. Finally, remove and discard the friction material. If you find the friction is stuck in the fan clutch, you can attempt to further compress the fan clutch by slightly tightening the temporary 5 8 inch bolts you just installed. The next step is to prepare the fan clutch for rebuilding. Using a solvent and shop rag, clean the fan clutch prior to installing the rebuild kit. It is important to ensure the fan clutch is properly cleaned before installing any new components. Now that the fan clutch is clean, you can begin rebuilding the fan clutch using the Kitmaster's Rebuild Kit. Begin by applying the lubricant provided in the Rebuild Kit to the brown combo seal. Install the combo seal into the U-packing groove. Ensure that the U is facing up or toward the nose of the fan clutch. Also, ensure that it is properly seated in the groove. Take time to install extra lube to the exposed surfaces of the seal. The longer this seal lasts, the longer the fan clutch lasts. Next, place the new seal washer over the threads of the rear air shaft or piston rod. Now, install the new air chamber cap over the seal washer. Then, install the star washer over the air chamber cap and place the 5 16 lock nut over the star washer. <laughs> Using a torque wrench, tighten the lock nut to 84 inch pounds. Turn the fan clutch over and install the new friction material. Simply place the friction in the clutch and then install the retaining plates by installing the six retaining plate screws. Using a torque wrench, tighten these six screws to 30 inch pounds.
Install the seal into the groove on the rear air shaft. Ensure that you do not roll the O-ring and that the O-ring is fully seated into the groove. Next, install the new coupler. Finally, remove the two temporary 3-inch bolts to decompress the clutch.